Okay, let's start studying this book. So beginning with fundamentals. Okay, this course is an introduction to linear algebra and differential equations. There are a number of really fundamental ideas you need to understand at the start of the course that we will use throughout the rest of this course. You'll find it difficult at first. This course is more abstract than any of the mathematics courses you have done before. But I experienced teaching this course is that if you keep thinking about it, everything will make sense by the time you have to write the exam. The problems you regard as difficult at the start of the course will strike you as obvious by the end. There are a number of things you learned last year that are going to be necessary in this course. You should understand matrix multiplication, Gauss reduction, and the modulus argument form of complex numbers from MAM 1021S. If you don't remember any of that, then you should review that material. So what is this, these things, these three things they're talking about? Uh, matrix multiplication, Gauss reduction, that's also called row reduction, and the modulus argument form of complex numbers. So matrix multiplication, I think that's clear what that is, right? Uh, the Gauss reduction, row reduction, that's how you then solve uh, a matrix equation. And then the modulus argument form of complex numbers, that's, you know, when you write a complex number, a complex number is a something like A plus BI, where A and B are real numbers, so it's got a real part and an imaginary part, but you can also write it in the form of the um, modulus R, then E to the I, theta, the argument is theta. So you need to know how to convert something in the form. You need to know how to convert something in this form into something in this form, and vice versa. So go and review them. Review that if you don't know already. 